Will has a follow-up question. He writes, do SVO, SVHO engines have under-piston oil sprayers? And has Reva addressed the issue with the supercharger shaft upgrade? It does not have under-piston oil sprayers, and it's there's no issue with the shaft. Uh, I don't know if y'all have seen my video I did last week. I've got the supercharger still apart. I'll pull it out to show you right now. Uh, but there's no issue with the shaft. The yeah, issue the is oil fine. pressure. Yeah, yeah the, the shaft is fantastic. It's actually designed by HKS. Uh, fantastic supercharger design. But when you starve it of oil, that's when the problems happen. Right. So it's not that there's it's an issue with the shaft. It's an issue with <laughs> oil pressure that's causing a shaft to fail. So right. let, me, let me guard that supercharger. Greg came with visual aids today. Yeah. <laughs> Show and tell day. That's yeah, all right. That's working. Yeah. That's great. All right. All right. Let me, I'm going to so, make you the, the star here. Hold on. Yeah. Yeah. So this factory, the way the bearing is, I don't know how well it's going to come on live video because yeah. this is a very bad angle. But let me see if I can do it from the back. But the shaft does wobble. Uh, there, I cleared the screen for you. Okay. Yeah, the, the shaft does wobble a little bit, and that's because it does rely on oil pressure. Yeah, it needs that film. Right. Let's see. There you go. Yeah. I don't nope. know if you could see that, but there's a very minimal wobbling here. Uh, on your video, it showed it good, Greg. The little video you did. Yeah. Go to look at my uh, YouTube channel, The Green Hulk Garage. Uh, you, could see it. you could easily see it in that. So if we pull this shaft out, well, I got the bearing back in here, so we're not going to be able to see it too, too well. Give How many hours you have on that one, Greg? Uh, this one's probably got about 120 hours. And that's hard abuse. You know, this is uh, mid 90s uh, and I do not baby it. You know, I'll go in two foot chop and white knuckle it until I can't go anymore. I could contest uh, that. I, I rode yeah. quite a few times at Mudbug across Lake Verrett. <laughs> yeah. So if you keep up with me, congratulations. You know, maybe we'll have a trophy for the next Mudbug. Yeah. Uh, that, uh, oh, there it is. Okay. Yeah, so here's the shaft. I, I can't get the bushing out in a timely manner. It's got a C-clip holding it in. Uh, it take me a few minutes to get it out. But anyways, there's uh, the journal bearing. It's it's like a bronze bushing, mm -hmm. right? So it just slides over this, and it's an excellent material, and bronze bushings are actually fantastic. Uh, the bronze is a natural lubricant in itself, but there's a tolerance here. So the bearing will wobble a little bit on the shaft. The shaft will wobble a little bit in the supercharger housing. If you do not have any oil pressure, uh, you're relying on that oil pressure to provide that oil film between the shaft and the bearing and the bearing and the supercharger housing. So when you lose that, your, your supercharger shaft will have that slight little wobble to it. it will have metal on metal contact and it will eat that bearing up. And what's happening is you're losing a, uh, the tolerance that's designed there, the metal eats away, the shaft pushes forward into the thrust collar and into the, the retaining plate and wipes that out and consequently pushes into the front housing of your supercharger and destroys the supercharger impeller and the front housing of it. Uh, so that's the issue there. It's not that this is bad, it's just that the oil pressure needs to be there for this to work well. Right, that shaft. And on top of that, uh, the Riva shaft has this billet aluminum plate. This is not a factory part. So this is adding more oil to your supercharger because it's dependent on it and an additional support slash bearing. So the rear of the shaft is actually supported like this. Uh, some of you, if you've been around for a long time, you may remember back in the day, uh, I haven't seen too many recently, but these gears would just break off because there's no rear support. So when you support the rear gear like this, you're uh, you're adding more support overall to the shaft. This gear can't break off out of place like they did in the past. Uh, and then you're adding more oil to it as an additional bearing and it's coming up through the shaft. So this is a, a fantastic design. I think Reva did an excellent job with this. Uh, for 99% of the people, this is the best shaft that you could have. 
I mean, un unless you want to run a crazy amount of boost, uh, like the Fizzle ZR4 supercharger impeller, you make like 35 pounds of boost, which that's going to be a racing specific only application. You want to upgrade to a 10 millimeter shaft. So this, this right here is eight millimeter that you will upgrade to a 10 millimeter shaft kit. And uh, you're just adding a little more strength here so the shaft can't flex under high loads. So the shaft is a fantastic design. Um, yeah, one of the 10 millimeter not shaft a, it's uh, Yeah, it's not a flawed Freeman design at all. Yeah, no, not at all. Uh, one of the, the, the 10 millimeter shaft kits is the new Fuel Tech one. Not that it's a bad design, it's fantastic. Uh, you're adding a billet plate or backing plate to the supercharger. Uh, it's very good design, but it uses ball bearings. So a lot of people might see that and think, oh, the factory supercharger doesn't have ball bearings. Ball bearings are better. It's not that they're better. Sure, they may be stronger at high loads, uh, but I've rebuilt thousands of Sea-Doo superchargers that use ball bearings. And I cannot tell you how many I've had that bearing cages fall, uh, fail and it spits the ball bearings into the supercharger, supercharger still wiped out. Yeah. Uh, those bearing cages get brittle, they break. Uh, oh. I saw one kit uh, someone had sent to me because he did have a supercharger failure, uh, use needle bearings. It's not that needle bearings are bad either, but those are also going to depend on oil pressure and uh, needle bearings, when they fail, you really got a mess because they're, they're small right. enough to when it fails, it's going into the, the engine, you got to pull this engine out and clean it out. Uh, you got to get all those needle bearings out of there. So it's not that any of these supercharger designs are bad, but when you lose that oil pressure, they all can fail. And in the end, none of it will be good. Yeah. So fix the oil pressure issue. Yeah. Oil pressure. Oil. Hey, guys. Thanks for hanging out. This clip was taken from our weekly podcast that we record here every Sunday night at 8 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. If you want to watch the whole video, you can go to the Watercraft Journal's YouTube channel, go to Playlists, and then click on Live Sessions. You're going to see it there. Otherwise, go ahead and leave a like, a comment, and definitely subscribe to the channel. It helps us grow. And again, thanks again for watching our videos, and we hope to see you soon.